Thanks, guys. High school baseball Cardinals stretch seeking revenge visiting Northwood. The team the Cardinals lost to on Tuesday. Top of the second base is juice for Dylan St. Pierre. Ground ball through the hole and left. Anthony Cruz can't make the play and three runs come home for the Cardinals. They take a 4-1 lead. Home half Nathan Huber at the dish and the win a big factor in this one gets it to drop in shallow right. Plates two runs to cut the deficit in half. But Cardinal Stritch continues to capitalize. Fourth inning, Connor Wirtz rips one right to the third baseman. Nolan Wagner throw to first off target. Two more runs come home for the Cardinals and they come away with the 11 to 8 win, improving to 3 and 1 in the tack. It was great. They came out Tuesday, beat us at Owski at the rec. Feels great to be able to come out here, pitch a complete game and get the dub. You just got to forget about it. Every pitch is a new pitch. Throw a ball, just throw a strike, throw another ball, throw, throw a strike. You just got to forget about every pitch, every run, every person on base. Chris Schmidbauer and Scott Tucker join us once more from Northwood. Well, you wouldn't think a broken arm would be helpful to a player, but Mike McGee telling me afterwards his starting pitcher today, Bobby Heskett, that's exactly what it was for him. He broke his arm in a gym class a few years ago, had to relearn to throw the baseball, and that deceptive delivery, Scott Tucker, really gave problems to Northwood here this afternoon. Yeah, Bobby being a little sidearm, uh, kind of a pitch right there, changed the eye level and the release point to the Ranger hitters and was able, to him, uh, able for him to get out in front of many of the hitters and then pitch a nice, complete game today. Well, 11 runs cross the plate for Cardinal Stritch here this afternoon. A lot of it coming from the aggressiveness on the base pass. Really little impunity or any issues running the bases today for Cardinal Stritch. They were really able to have their way with the stolen bases. Right, and absolutely, and that puts a lot of uh, dress on the uh, Ranger pitchers. Anytime a runner gets on first, they're automatically getting in scoring position. And then just a ground ball or put the ball in play, and all of a sudden you're giving up a run. And that's what allows for those big innings to happen for Cardinal Stritch tonight. Well, we'd be remiss not to mention the effort of Gage Reed, the starter on the mound for Northwood. Unfortunately, that win today really played a story in this game. Blew a lot of those fly balls to right field, either in, blew them to left. It was really kind of a crazy day out in the field, and that really kind of the story at times for Northwood, just unable to make plays when they needed to. Right, and I talked to Gage after the game. He's a little bit disappointed in himself in that performance, but he did acknowledge the fact that the win had a factor in there, and I, I suspect he'll come back, uh, throw more strikes, continue to compete, and, and be the upperclassman that he is. Well, the Rangers got these Cardinals on Tuesday. They returned the favor here at Northwood this afternoon, an 11-8 win. Back to you guys in the studio.